Dear students, welcome you all to Suman Tutorial. Yes students, now let us study the concept about speed. So let us define it. What is speed? Speed is the rate of change of distance travelled with respect to time. Rate of change of distance travelled with respect to time. How we can represent that can be represented by distance travelled distance travelled divided by time taken. This is the formula. What is speed? I told you the definition. Speed is the rate of change of distance travelled with respect to the time. So how we can represent in terms of formula? Speed is equal to distance travelled divided by time taken. Now the SI unit of speed. So what is the SI unit of speed? We need to find the unit of distance travelled divided by unit of time. So to find the SI unit of speed, we need to take the SI unit of distance travelled divided by the SI unit of time. So what is the SI unit of distance travelled? It is meter divided by SI unit of time is second. So how we are going to represent? We can represent it in a two form. That is, we can represent in two form. That is meter per second or meter second inverse. Both are same. Meter per second or meter second inverse. So this is the SI unit of speed formula. How we have taken the unit of speed. Now, let us study the concept of velocity. So, the definition of velocity says, it is the rate of change of displacement with respect to time taken. So, it is displacement over time taken. Speed is distance travelled by time taken. Velocity is displacement by time taken. So here directly I will write the SI unit. So the SI unit will be same meter per second can also be represented as meter per second or meter second inverse. Observe it. Speed as well as velocity both are having the same unit that is meter per second. How? Because displacement and distance travelled both are having the SI unit as meter. Time both are common. SI unit of time is second. Therefore, the SI unit of speed and velocity is meter per second. Now see here students, you might have seen the speedometer of your vehicle will showing the speed unit as kilometer per hour. Yes sir, you had discussed only about the meter per second. Here it is kilometer per hour, then how to solve it? There is a conversion where you are going to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second. I am going to explain you step by step how we are going to convert this kilometer per hour to meter per second. So let us study. Before that a small thing that you should note it down. We know that 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter. 
as well as 1 hour will be equal to 3600 second. Now substitute the same thing here. So what is our conversion? We are converting kilometer per hour to meter per second. Then 1 kilometer per hour will be equal to 1000 divided by 3600 that is 1000 meter divided by 3600 second. How to solve this one? Very easiest way. First cancels two zeros. What we left with? 10 over 36. The common table of 10 and 36 is 2. 2 5s are 10 and 2 18s are 36. So the conversion unit of kilometer per hour to meter per second is 5 by 18. Yeah, you can take the screenshot or you can write that one. Yeah, now let me erase. Let me give with one numerical. Imagine if the speed is 90 kilometers per hour. What is the value in meter per second? The question will be asked like this. If the speed of the vehicle is kilometer, 90 kilometer per hour, what will be the value in meter per second? How to solve it? Very easy. 1 kilometer per hour will be equal to 5 by 80 meter per second. Now, 90 kilometer per hour will be equal to 90 into 5 by 18. So, 18 on the, 18 on the, how much sir? Very good. 18 5 are 90. So your answer is 5 into 5. It is 25 meter per second. So this is how we are going to convert 90 kilometer per hour in terms of meter per second and your answer will be 25. You can copy that. Yeah. Thank you, dear. Thank you, one and all.